Yo, it's me, it's the guy with the ridiculous moniker, the Purple Yeti, and I'm back, and let me tell you, a storm is a brewing, um, as you may be able to hear, or not, my microphone is kind of weak, uh, big ol' rains down here in Austin, Texas. A little bit more wet than what it was last year, so we won't see any more, hopefully, god-awful uh, droughts. Um, and not unlike droughts, uh, we are feeling a little bit of droughts of the old college football news. Um, well, in the last couple weeks, except for this last week, the storm is definitely a ruin for college football. So, let me take a sip of my uh, diet sweet tea. Yeah. Enjoy my really biff and sweet little uh, K-State Ed Hardy shirt. And get ready to roll. Let's do this. So, what's happened last week? Lots of big news. I'll lead up to the biggest guy, just to make you watch longer, um, but to kind of um, weave this week's tale, we're going to go right under the Big East, and I know, but Pittsburgh is suing the Big East, Louisville is complaining about the Big East, they want out, they want to go to the Big 12, um, which there might be an uh, opportunity for that, tune in later, um, and uh, it's just all falling apart. Um, the biggest commissioner resigned, I don't know if it was last week, earlier this year, and he um, left in the wake of his destruction a hobbled together conference that has the likes of Boise State and others reconsidering its membership in there. Will they go whack? Well, we already know the whack is dead, um, but I don't know. There's still a need for Northeastern College athletics that does not include basketball. Um, and baseball is not going to do it. So they got to have some kind of football on there. Whether it's on the scale for, say, uh, some of the southern um, middle equator schools, yeah, it's probably not going to happen. But um, there is a need, and it should still stay around, but I don't see anybody who's in there right now happy with it and um, ready and they're out the door, pretty much. So, yeah, uh, I think the Big East is going to be uh, involved in even more raids and shakeups. Uh, not unlike the raids that everyone was talking about for the Big 12 a couple years ago. Yeah, who was wrong on that one? A lot of people I know. So, let's see here. What else? Football players from Texas got arrested on 6th Street because they wouldn't leave a pizzeria at 3 o'clock in the morning. Now, I don't know if you could tell, but the Purple Yeti likes to frequent the old 6th Street menagerie. And I'm going to have to tell you, um, I'm sure the police were hell-bent on enforcing stricter rules around that area of the city at that time o night. So, I don't know if it's necessarily the players... They may have been a little lippy, uh, a little self-entitled and young, but you know, there's a very low tolerance for police officers in that area around that time for a good reason. So whether or not like they'll get really disciplined or not by, by the Mac, uh, Mac Brown, and could be. I don't know. It just seems silly to get arrested for hanging out at a pizzeria. So anyway... Moving on, Notre Dame will be wearing Irish flag shoes while they play in Ireland against Navy. Um, no. Just, just, no. No. Too much. Can't deal with it. I mean, we know, we get it. There's a drunk Irishman as your mascot, but please, the shoes... Don't don't even bother. Um, Bill Byrne retired from uh, Texas A and M. He did his duty in moving the school out of a better conference into a conference that 
is better than football. But they're not going to compete. So good for him. Goodbye. See you later. Uh, that's about it. Um, boop -ba doo West Virginia is expecting to make more money on Tier 3 rates, and they're looking to talk to partners and getting that to ball a rolling. Yes, that's right. Even uh, my lowly little team has third-tier television uh, network in place that I gleefully support monthly. Um, thank you, CBS Sports Network. Um, and yes, even the Longhorn Network is around. Um, but Oklahoma may announce something with Fox Sports here pretty soon. And uh, West Virginia is getting in on the game because it's another way to make money that you do not have the option to do in other conferences. Um, hmm. This is all leading to somewhere. Do, 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 do. They're auctioning off Pacino's bicycle. Who cares? He's kind of a douche. Um, the ACC contract, the media contract was locked up. Through 2027. That's a hell of a long time. I mean, ESPN is just riddled with cash or desperation. That kind of smells like cash. Um, and they're just throwing it left and right for all these different conferences. I mean, really, it is the Borg that is Disney. They want to have control over every live sport possible, um, which is why I think they're also kind of running concussion stories about football. You know, because they don't have the main rights for the NFL. Um, you know, it's not really doing it for college athletics because, hey, guess guess who plays on Saturdays on their channels? Anyway, ACC got money. It's going to be about 17 mil a year, which is less than the Big 12, less than the Pac-12, less than the Big 10, less than the SEC. Hmm... And they can't sell third tier rights either. Where is this going? Do tell. Um, do do do. Dan Beebe is in the running for a job. Um, he will be. Uh, I don't know if he's gotten it yet, but it's nice to see his name pop up. He's in the running, the lead candidate for uh, the FBS Bowl uh, director. So, not the championship games, but he would be the guy to uh, help facilitate filling the slots for the Minky Car Bowl in the, the Oingo Boingo, the Zombocom.com uh, bowl game. So, you know, good for him. Glad he's finding work. So, um, and yeah, most of the concussion stuff's been all about. Um, NFL right now. Now, there has been some players talking about uh, college ranks, but it's, it's hard to do because you know, uh, they get the free education. So, I mean, do they get free medical expenses paid for the rest of their lives? I don't know. I don't know. So, what's left? Uh, Aaron Green is leaving Nebraska and going to TCU. Uh, not the purple I'd like, but I'd like to see people coming to a real conference and not some hoity toy, some dusty old conference that lives on the glories of the past and not of any successes in the present. It's perfect for a team like Nebraska. I'm glad they left, and I'm glad that we we're getting talent from those schools where they realize that they can compete in, uh, and, and actually have a shot for national championships like the Big 12. So kudos to you, Aaron Green. I might see you in Dallas, but unfortunately I'll never see you in Manhattan. So anyway, moving on. Um, and speaking of other conferences, Steve Spurrier uh, decided to uh, label the rivalry between South Carolina and Missouri the Battle of Columbia's. And what has got to be seen as the most limp-wristed rivalry name that I have ever heard in my life. The Battle of the Columbias. I mean, really? I mean, the backyard fight, that makes sense, even though it's not going to happen anymore. 
But it's like they live right next to each other. The colleges are like a block away from each other. Backyard fight. Geographic location. Um, perfect context. Uh, the Battle of the Columbias. Yes, Missouri and South Carolina has a play in it. But I'm sure uh, Indiana, uh, Kansas, um, Hawaii, pretty much every state has a Columbia. So I'm sure those other Columbias have a say in that fight. I don't know if they just want to settle it on the old football field. Yeah, ridiculous. Steve-O, old ball coach, stop it. Coach your team. You might actually do well this year. Even better than last year. All right, so what's the big deal? Hmm. Nobody's happy about the Big East. Um, the Big 12, doing pretty good money-wise. West Virginia's enjoy making third tier rights. The ACC got new media rights. And yes, Florida State is complaining about what they got in that deal. They first thought it had to do with basketball having third tier rights, but not football. But that was misinformation. Um, or mistaken, or I don't know. Maybe the cigar smoke and brandy got in the way, and you know they heard something differently. But point is, is that Florida State is no longer happy. Uh, they're pretty ticked off that the media deal they got is not enough, and they need to compete with SEC schools and SEC money. And they see that their viability is an athletic department that they just cut about two million with. Um, going away and, and it, they take pride in their athletic department because they used to be a rinky dink school and then Bobby Bottom bought them back and won a national championship here and there and did really really well so they want to keep that momentum going um, Big 12 is a good place the board of trustees the president said the board of trustees would be behind finding it or at least uh, d open discussions for um, the Big 12 and um, I think that's pretty much if we've, we've been in this alignment game enough to know that that pretty much means negotiations will be happening. Whether or not it's at the Big 12 meetings in Kansas City here in a couple weeks, or if it's not already happening, I couldn't really tell you. But I can say that, <laughs> with no information whatsoever, that this is going to get all shaken out here in the next month or two. I don't know if Louisville is going to be coming over to Big 12, but I think you're sitting on an opportunity versus being able to fill a roster. You definitely want to take your time and at least look at it. You know, Big 12 might not be thinking expansion, but it is Florida State. They've won national championship games. Uh, it would add great pedigree, at least for the last 30 years, in the league. And um, they're certainly a lot more successful recently than, say, uh, Missouri or a Texas A&M. And they're not as self-entitled <laughs> as those schools. <laughs> so, who knows? We might see some action with it. I don't know. Storm's rumbling. We're going to be raining down on some kind of information about it here in the future. As long as the lightning strikes and the iron is hot. And other metaphors that kind of fit into what I'm trying to say, which is that I think it would be a pretty good move for both parties. Um, you know, Big 12's already making the trip to uh, West Virginia. Might as well do it to Florida, too. Um, and it's not like Florida is going anywhere shorter. They got to fly up Boston College. So, you know, why not? Go for it, you know. Get better competition, you know. Think about it. Uh, West Virginia, TCU, Florida State, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Texas, Baylor, I mean Kansas State. You're sitting. You're looking at about nine teams that compete. You know Texas, ten. You know everybody except for really Kansas, Iowa State, and Texas Tech. You know, you've got top twenty-five material, pretty much up and down the board. That that's impressive. So think about it, guys. And with that, I'm gonna let you think about it as well. If you want to verbalize those thoughts, please extend your fingers out on the keyboard after a couple of mouse clicks to comment below and um, let your brain do the talking. Um, subscribe up somewhere. I don't know. Uh, other people are doing it, so you guys should do it too. Uh, in the meantime, um, see you later.